Alright chat, bonjour à tous, comment allez-vous? C'est Max, de retour encore ce soir. J'ai un invité spécial euh, dans le cadre du Megamix 2021 aujourd'hui. Euh, il va nous présenter un jeu vraiment cool. Laissez-moi vous le présenter, il s'appelle Ricky Long de Quillo Games. Et présentement, il est en Chine. Ricky, how are you, sir? Hello everyone and hi Max for thanks Max for introducing me. So hello from Hong Kong. Um totally halfway like away from the group. So I'm pretty sure everything will be fine. So just to make sure that everyone understand uh, you're in uh, Hong Kong right now. So uh, it's the morning for you and it's the night for us. Uh how's the weather where you live? Yeah, it's like uh, quite chill here um just wake up and uh totally like warm and and, and fine today oh, okay cool 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 because a uh, chat you have to know but we were talking about the weather just before the stream and i told him <laughs> like it's three celsius here today so it's getting pretty cold he was like okay <laughs> that is something <laughs> yeah it's 20 something celsius here so wow yeah. okay I mean, yeah that's big difference for sure sure um uh ricky today we are talking uh, in the context of the mega mix uh, 2021 uh, uh i'm pretty pleased to um to participate in this event for them and that i've been introduced to you uh i checked out the game that that you sent me i check out the videos i tested out just a bit on my side it's so cute and so fun i cannot wait to uh, show that to the stream uh, a bit later today but before we uh, go into that subject first of all uh, i want to know is it um your first studio where you're working at yes um and indeed well this studio is uh, formed by me and my partner mm -hmm. we, we are a small team indie team of two people we are two childhood friends and uh we always wanted to make games, we love playing games, but then life, you know, push us back our schedule and we worked in, you know, uh, software development and also design industry before. And now finally we have a chance to set up our studio and make a game. So um, this is kind of our first big game. I mean, before I have done some small fresh games for my own entertainment. So yeah, um, this is a re our first big try and I hope we are doing okay. <laughs> I, from what I've seen, you're doing pretty good. Um, but I want, I want to ask what's the main reason why someone like you decided to start his own studio instead of just uh, applying for jobs and join something that already exists? Um, well, mainly because we really want to stay creative independent mm -hmm. and uh, we have our own vision, we have our own story to want to tell. Um, if I apply a job to you know work in other studios and probably uh, I will be developing others' visions and also making a game that has um, you know a story told by other people, mm -hmm. not myself. Um, maybe after some years I can work my way up to become a, a chief game designer but then and since we we have the infrastructure since we the indie ecosystem is here so I and my friend are thinking why not try to start and it doesn't hurt and we, we can we, we can afford to you know start our own studio so yeah I think that's pretty cool that's pretty cool because I know some people here in Quebec that have been actually in the industry and they left it for the very same reasons because they want their own creative creative stuff they want to express their own uh, creative opinion i would say and create their own things and i think uh i think it takes a lot of guts to do that i'll be honest and i have a lot of respect for people like you who does that because that's something i'm maybe i maybe i would want to done that like when i was younger but I'm close to 40 you now, so I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, I have a lot of respect for that, for sure, for sure. And what's the story behind your studio? How does it, how everything I started with your, with your friend? Oh, how? So, um, well, um, 
Yeah, hey, about about two years ago.、Mm. So、uh, we wanted to, you know, we we decided that okay, well, if we keep waiting, and we will never be able to make our games. So let's get it, give it a start, and then、um, and then we want we are always want to、uh, make story rich games because.、Um, Well, for our one of our big thing, one of one of one of the things we want to do is that we want to tell inspiring stories through interactive ways, in a way that we hope after five to ten years, people who played our game will still smile when they think of our games. So、um, this is what we wanted to do, and and one thing about our our studio name is Krillo, right? Our, our studio name is Krillo. So it's actually the combination of the pronunciation of Krill, like like the feather pan Krill, and also pillow. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. So these two things are um um represent our vision in a way that Krill, the the feather pan, represents study, and pillow, which you can relax when you are sleeping, represents patience. Which we think、um, these days is what we are lacking because、um, today the world is moving faster and faster,、True. and we are receiving more and more information in a way that we lack the time and patience to study the to study people and also to study the things around us.、Um, we, including us, including myself,、um, nowadays tends to jump to conclusion. Before truly understand something, because there are too many, too much information, and the world is moving too fast. So,、um, when I discuss this issue with my partner, we think that we hope,、um, we hope that our games or story can tr- can remind people the beauty of truly understand the people and things around us, and have the patience to. Understand them truly before we jump into conclusions or jump to prejudice. So, yeah, this is one big vision be- behind our studio. I really like it. Honestly, I think that's really well thought, and I think that really explained very well the、um, the work that you've done on your game from what I've seen. But you gotta explain that to me a, a bit.、Uh, <laughs> A bit、uh, later.、Uh, so,、um, speaking of the game,、um, can you can you remind me the name of the game? I think it's、oh. I've that like on the side. Wait. Yeah, yeah it's a pope here. Oh yeah. yeah. It's a pope here, right? This is a word that we made up, and this is also the combination of two words. It is combination of apocalypse and utopia. Which means that it is a story about overcoming apocalypse and find your own utopia. So this is、uh, the idea of the game. Okay, cool, cool. That's、um, that's a puzzle game, like super cute, like in animation that you've done.、Uh, from what I've seen,、um, it reminds me everything you you just told us about、uh, taking the time to、uh, to do some stuff, taking the time to.、Um, To complete those puzzles and everything, to complete, to taking the time to relax at some point while you have fun in the game,、um, am I am I correct? Um, yeah, on one on one on one layer, yes, it it is about how people play the game would need the patience and also understand it. Um, but when you dig deeper, the story we introduce that um, um, okay, th- there are actually two worlds in the game. Mm-hmm. One is that what one one is what you see is very cute, very adorable, and it is a big fantasy world that、uh, many jokes, many humor, anything could happen. Many cute animal characters. This is one world. The other world in the Pope here is a dark world full of mysteries, where、um, they are full of things that people want to hide and forget, and it is kind of a two side of a coin that's representing the world of a Pope here. And to truly understand the story,、um, one need to you know play the game and then try to see what the lore wants to explain and see the other side of the of the cute part of the world.、Um, at the end of the day, the two parts are actually the the two the same world seen in different perspective, and this echoes with what it, it, with our studio vision that. When you truly want to understand something, it takes some time and understanding to yeah, know yeah. what is the truth instead of just looking at the surface. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool. Hey, is it too long? <laughs> no, I think that's really, really interesting, and I want to show the、um, 
the video there's on there's a video on steam about it uh, to make sure that people understand what we are talking about and that they can see by themselves uh, what the games look like uh, so I would take like one minute 30 to show the um, to show the video to the community and then I'll come back to you is it, is it fine with you sure thank you all right all right give me a sec I'm starting this just unmute this to make sure it's not too loud and uh, look at that chat It is so cute, I have to say. I have to admit, I think when I saw that the first time, I think it's just so cute. It looks so good and interesting. Uh, good work, by the way, to you and your and your friend Thank in the you. studio. I think you you made some some such very good work. Um, first, the game is called Apopia uh, Prologue. Which means, I guess you will uh, you will complete this this one and have um, have something after that. Yes, um, we targeted to launch the full game in uh, the first quarter of twenty twenty three. Yeah, and that is called Apopia Suga Coda Tale. I mean, we added the subtitle of Suga Coda Tale because um, we think probably uh, people would won't, won't understand what Apopia means in the, at the first glance. So yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 cool. Um, I would like to play the game just a bit. I installed the files. I don't know the files on my PC. I tried real quick to make sure that the game was running perfectly. It it is. It it runs perfectly fine. Uh, I want to ask: does it, does it work with the controller, or does it work only with the keyboard? Both. Uh, you can do, do it on both keyboard or controller. Uh, once you press a button on keyboard and controller, it will just auto detect the switch, and you can you can just play as you go. Oh really? Okay. I haven't tried yet. You can even combine the two. You can like um, press the button on controller and use the. You can use the D pad on controller and also yeah use the other keys on the keyboard. I mean you, you can always do that. All right, all right, uh, guys. I'm gonna switch the camera. And just make quick, just real quick to make sure that you guys can see the game. I will play a few minutes. For, uh, obviously, I know that you have this. I don't know if you can see the stream on the side. Um, uh, Ricky, can you see it? Yes, yes, I can. I can see that. Ah, uh, pretty perfect. nice. Working, working correctly. It, okay, cool, cool. So you can, um, you can comment everything that we will s be able to see in the game, um, most likely. I will just raise up the volume to make sure that we do get the ambience. So what's the name of your character? Oh, this character is called Mai. M-A-I. Mm -hmm. Mai. Alright. I'm gonna climb this mountain. Hurry up. I'll go fast. I would want to go faster. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. 
So this game that we can play today, uh, you got you got me the files. I know that people can um, can pay like uh, the value that they want right now. Uh, you plan to release this game fully on 2023, but right now, if people want to play the game, oh shit! I'm sorry. <laughs> I was I was not expecting that. <laughs> Okay. I just warped into something else. I don't know. Did I did something wrong? <laughs> uh, this is the way. Well, this this is what I uh, talk about. There are two worlds in the Pope here. So in the beginning, we just want to give the audience, the, the players, a taste that you no, know, it's not just about cuteness. It's not just about a horrible adventure. There is dark side. And that's all I can remember. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I was going to, to ask if people want to play the, the game right now, they can obviously get the game on the link that you sent me, but on Steam as well, right? Yes, yes. Uh, please get it on Steam. It's a Popia Prologue and uh, it is on each IO as well. So, yeah, these are the two places. I will, guys, I will uh, share the links in the chat. Uh, right after to make sure that everyone can get the game if they want to try it out but i think because i think for the for the time that you that your guys are on the development of the game it's really polished already thanks <laughs> so i found uh, okay so i'm not sure i will be sure that i won't get too cold i have an inventory okay okay cool so who's this cat? Oh, he's, he he went away. I feel kind of lost right now. I guess that's the okay. <laughs> I guess that's the goal of what you are trying to to show the people right now. Okay. Ow! Okay. I guess I'm just gonna try to pass on the side. So they don't bite me again. Okay, there's the cat. Oh. It's so weird. Yeah, anything could happen. So in this fantasy world, um, it's full of surprises. You you won't guess what is going on, on next, but be sure that you will be surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when I say it's so weird, I don't say that like in a bad way. I like those games who are trying to um, to surprise you with a lot of different stuff that you're not used to. Okay, I get some eggs. A bad mistake for an egg so dumb how about me play dead ask the bat play egg so I could choose what I wanted to do I chose yeah, to great. play an egg and the bats they are just picking me up that was my first task, basically. Nice. That's exciting. <laughs> I wish I can keep one as a pet. Maybe I can. No, maybe I cannot. Okay. Ça manque de la tosse sur le channel, buddy. Ça lève personne. Oh no, sounds like something is shaking the cave. It's collapsing. It better rest start running. Okay, okay. Okay, I can run like this. Oh no. Ow! It looks really, really good. 
Okay. This is the part that you have to escape the cave on time. So. I want to admit. I think I made it. And yep. I saved the cat. Let's go. Cool. <laughs> A popia plug. That's really nice. That's really, really nice. I really like the music. I like the um, the graphic style that you guys used to. It looks like a cartoon, but like a good one. You know what I mean? I really, really enjoy it. I'm gonna play this game for sure. Well, thanks. Yeah, um, this is uh, intention. We want uh, we want the players to feel like they are playing through a cartoon, like Adventure Time kind of style cartoon. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. So, like right now, I'm lost. I have to find my direction. I'm still with the cat. Someone's talking to me in the dark. What's that? Have you seen a cat around? I have one in my hands. We rabbit don't meow. Well, we, I just realized there isn't a word to describe our voice. Anyway, I followed the cat by its noise all the way to this spot. Then I accidentally stepped on a squeeze toy. I love the sound and got distracted. <laughs> We do not have cats in yogurt. What's yogurt? Is it the name of the of this place? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Cool. Yogurt is the place. <laughs> I have to capture it and bring it to the bus. Hold on. Uh oh. Doesn't let me go. Report to me if you see anything suspicious. Sure. <laughs> Bye. Bye. And then we can go on. So, so right now, um, how long is the game? So if um, someone... Prologue, it, yeah, it would take about an hour to complete. Okay. Um, if you want a full run, like get all the achievements and maybe an hour and... 20 minutes probably mm -hmm. because this is what we've seen from other like players have done okay okay that's actually uh, that's actually really uh, really good for some something like that and not only that introduce the players to your universe but that's also like uh how could i say that that's also like really interesting for the for the follow-up because if people are really interested in that what of what you're doing right now they're gonna have they're gonna want to play the full game for sure after that Ricky, are you still there i think we lost connection hey ricky are you back i kind of lost you i'm gonna close the game that might be because of the game Ok. Chat, on a perdu Ricky. Euh, je sais pas ce qui s'est passé, j'ai aucune idée. Il est plus sur Discord du tout. Well, c'est dommage. Euh, je sais pas comment vous trouvez ça. Je... Ok, he's back. Je sais pas comment vous trouvez le jeu, mais là, je trouve ça super cute. Vraiment, vraiment cute. Ricky, are you back? Hi, I'm back. Yeah, uh, my Discord just got uh, crashed, I guess. So. Oh, okay, okay, I see. I see, I get it, I get it. I was saying to the chat that I found that your game was so cute, and I want to do that for sure. I want to play the, 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 the prologue uh, completely for sure. Thanks. Oh, uh, by the way, may I ask that, uh, are you playing on a Mac or a PC? I'm playing on PC. Ah, I see. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, some icons wasn't displayed correctly. I'll, I'll fix it, yeah. Okay, I'm playing on PC, but I'm on uh, Windows 11, though. That might be it. Oh. That might be the thing. 
so yeah uh but uh yeah i think that was pretty interesting uh ricky um thank you thank you so much yeah if people want to follow up your project and the development of your games uh, where they can find you yeah they can uh follow me on twitter mm -hmm. or um subscribe to our newsletter and i will share the link yeah if you can that would be much appreciated Let me send you in Discord. Uh, my Discord is really crashing. I don't know why. I don't know. I can. Uh, I can say. Uh, at first, I thought that was my fault. Yeah, my dis my Discord is kind of uh, moving really slow. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm not sure what happened. But yeah, I just sent you my uh, Twitter and also my website on Discord. So please follow me on Twitter or subscribe to our newsletter and you can get a first hand news yeah and for people who are watching that on youtube uh, you can follow um twitter.com slash apopia world and the website apopia.com all right Ricky? actually the best is that um let me also send you the steam link the best is that uh if you can help us to uh wish list the full game on steam that would help us a lot a lot a lot so. yeah cool cool Perfect, perfect. And the, obviously the Steam link, uh, people, they, they can find it on your uh, website. Yes, yes, that's right. Perfect, perfect. Uh, Ricky, um, I'm pretty much done for today. I want to thank you for coming. That was a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, super interesting. And thanks a lot for passing to for participating in that and that show today. That was a, that was really, really appreciated thank you so much thank you for uh, like playing on my, my game thank you for liking it thank you for introducing me to your fans and yeah thank you for everything really <laughs> all right thanks man um yeah hope to talk to you um on the next uh, show that we have to do on the on the november 14 i think yeah november 14 yeah yes yeah we're totally really looking forward <laughs> all right thanks man and uh, enjoy your day yeah, thanks. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Chat! Chat! C'était euh, Ricky Longue de Quillo Games. Donc, c'était super intéressant. J'ai vraiment, 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 vraiment apprécié cette rencontre-là. Euh, 